All right, so how we doing, fam? Hope you're all staying safe. Just got done playing for a little while. We're cruising through this game. Thank you all for joining me each day. All the likes greatly appreciate it. If you're enjoying this, just keep it up. And uh, I will keep delivering. All right, love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check out our gear really quick. I'm also going to go sell some... Wait, what? No unidentified gear. Did it get... Com Hold on, did they... Oh, it... Okay, I guess it just fixes it. I don't know. That was kind of weird. Let's go ahead and equip everything. Uh, okay, 40... Yeah, let's do this one. And then, it looks like... It's down, okay. Everything else should be good. Just gonna check each one just to make sure. I don't know how much this stuff really helps. I mean, in combat... 35, 34, 32. Okay. We got to go sell some stuff. Let me, uh... Man, those... Actually, the gloves look kind of cool. I'm going to keep them like that. I'm just going to change this other stuff. <laughs> I think it's... We got that still on. Okay, here it is. And now the hat. <laughs> I know it's a Hogwarts thing, but still, I want to... You know what? The gloves match the... I don't know. It kind of matches the outfit a lot. I think we're good. Inventory, good on that. Challenges, let's go ahead and see what we got to complete here. Field got a pages. That one looks kind of cool. All right, let me go actually get some stuff put on here really quick. All right, so... This just shows you which ones are actually... Oh, wait, I got to move it around. That's right. Okay. There we go. Let's do a uh, few traits. Which one do I want to do here? Discover traits. From Dark Wizards. I've more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. I feel like I'd rather have increased damage on something. Like this, for instance. Because I'm actually going to use that. You know? Uh, on this one, let's go ahead and view the traits on that as well. Spiders. I guess if you knew you... Okay. Yeah, if you like knew you was about to fight them. I really don't know what to put on here. I guess it's this, but I can't really... I don't even have the feather for it. Never mind. Alright, I'm not going to waste... Because I don't have all the materials for that yet. It is what it is. I got one thing on it. I'm fine. Would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Speak with a mitt. We got to go pretty far, I think. Let me double check. Hold on, it's saying... It sounds like up here. Well, let's just follow the icon. It'd be funny if it, like, shows us, like, a really far away spot after I go to this door. Like, 3,000 away or something. Oh, it's right above me. Okay. I had a feeling it was close by, but sometimes I was kind of like, I don't know if the game's, like, bugging out or what. I should... Hold on. I should go sell some stuff. I just realized this. I don't know. Do I go sell stuff now or... How much space do I have? My worry is I have 2,500, but I got 18 out of 20... We'll be fine. I think it'll be alright, at least. We shall see. You ever get a song stuck in your head and you just can't get it out? That's me right now. <laughs> I am uh, wanting to sing so much, but I can't. Look at that! Right when I go to do that, I get a question mark item. Now we're at 19 out of 20, so... Man, I am worried about this. So if I... Revenia. Oh, look at that. Hey, buddy. Why is he tweaking right there? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I love owls. The college I went to, the mascot was owl. It's always pretty cool. This is a really awesome... Man, I would love to be... Actually, like, if any part of the game I could go to right now... What was that? Oh, they're flying around. I was like, what in the world? I would love to just check this stuff out. You know, especially the big one right here. Man, can you imagine? Alright, we go. 
Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. I'm gonna ask all these. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you never met a goblin? Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. All right. Lord Gok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. All right, now we got to go far away. Normally, okay. This is good. I'm glad there's like a little break before we go to the like the next area. Let me go sell some stuff and then Yeah, let's just go here really quick. If I can do this, sell everything I have. I have a lot of money saved up just in case a quest, you know, decides I need to go do a bunch of stuff. Like potions or anything. I think we're done with a lot of that we stuff, have though. Everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. What can I do for you today? I lied, sir. I collect. Okay, I said bye, but obviously I'm here for one reason. <laughs> We're just here to take money, that's all. Um, I might keep these. Although, I mean, I already have like a transmog for it, so it really doesn't matter, but... I'll keep the mysterious one, too. <laughs> I bet it's higher. Hold on, it says it's down, so I'm just gonna sell it anyways, right? Now, hold on, it says question marks and then down. I don't know. I feel like I should just sell it, because if it already knows it's not better than what I currently have, the defense could be better, but I don't know. I'll wait. You never I know, right? To see you again. Farewell for now. The price is always going to be the same, though. If it's blue, it's a certain amount. If it's green, it's a certain amount. This is how it is. All right, let's get out of this area, and then I'll uh, fly. Actually, I don't need to do that. How far away are we going? World map. We're going all the way down here. All right, so the closest thing I could go to, probably this. And then I'll, this kind of gets me out of the town area quick. All right, here we go. Revenge. Go ahead and just scan the area really quick. I think we're good. Let me use a broom this time. I always do like a circle for some reason. <laughs> Set the control schemes a little, a little unorthodox sometimes. I'm used to, because it's like you go up and down with the right thumbstick, which is normal, but... I don't know why, it just feels funny sometimes. Have we ever been to the house right there? I don't know if there's anything there, but it would be cool to see if there is. Get the railroad tracks right there. The Hogwarts Express. Is this really the fastest way to get there? That is a long ways away. Hold on. World map. Yeah, we're going down there. I mean, once we get there, we'll have a fast travel point. Because we've been over here before, which I wonder if that's closer. You know what? As we fly, we're going to have this all because it's like like a grayed out area. This shirt turned to green, I'm, I'm guessing, right? Let's see. We'll take our time to get there anyways. I don't know if taking the broom is faster or... I do wonder if you can you change in midair. I've never tried it. You can scan the area, which I thought was kind of cool. All right, let me see. Yeah, you, you can't. You have to actually land. This is pretty awesome, though. Just been able to, like, see the scale of this game, at least. Reminds me of uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. <laughs> you ever remember that game? 
like the last decent Ghost Recon game, I think. I, sh I should collect these balloons. I'm not going to get all of them, but... Sometimes you get stuff for them. Well, they're all in a row right here. Hold on. I might as well, right? It's usually in, like, pairs of five. And there we go. Pop balloons. You just get XP for it, so... If I see those, I'll probably do that. I do want to see if I go faster on the broom versus this. Hold on. Landing is unavailable right now. Although I just landed. I mean, whatever. I do feel like the broom might be a little faster, but we'll see. It's not going any quicker. Is If anything, it's a little more... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it is. I can't tell. Literally, it feels the exact same. This is cooler, though, I think. <laughs> it feels... It feels just like so much better. All right, we got... We got five more balloons in front of us. We got an area to our left. This is stuff I want to check out when I'm get like... That's when I get done with the actual story, you know? All right, let's see if I can get these without... Without slowing down. Oh! I slowed down. Really? I missed that? Hold on. We're going back. Oh, I just realized... Okay. I... Okay, I don't know what the issue is. When you're turning and the camera's turning, it's kind of like the game switches around on you. It reminds me of those old school fixed camera angle like horror games, you know? Um, and you had like the camera turning too much and then it overcorrects. Kind of cool. We're almost there, actually. I've been doing everything in like... Oh yeah, we're almost there. I see so many enemies I want to fight, but I'm like, at the same time, I know that it's not worth it to stop. Maybe to explore a little bit, but I do want it to be daytime, at least for a little while. They're going to spot me. It's all good. All right, we made it. I do want to wait till daytime and just see if it changes. I feel like most of the time I play this game is dark. Here we go. Can I land? There we go. Go and collect these. Some juice. Alright, let's wait till uh, daytime again. It always does that. <laughs> it's like it's just before nighttime, so let's wait again. You know, it doesn't feel much different, does it? Yeah, whatever. It's all good. I've always said that travel broadens. What is this thing? Interesting. I haven't seen that symbol yet. Or at least if I have, I don't remember it. Oh, the eggs! Nice! Oh, look how big the balloons are when you're, like, not on anything. That looks huge compared to like normally, you know? Huh. Alright, here we go! A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Uh, but you had no choice. There we go. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. 
Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Renrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Uh, I'm just going to go and ask the only question we have here, right? What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. All right, let's get it. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. All right, the goblin mine. Here we go. Is that the symbol I just saw a minute ago? I didn't know what it was. It is, I think. How convenient. I was actually going to go to like the map and see like there was like a legend that showed everything, but here we go. The door is looking at us. So it's just like the chest. So we need to... I'm assuming it's the same thing. I don't know. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? I don't know if I have to get far away and then do that. I just do that anyways, because that's just what I usually do. <laughs> Here we go. It's so strange. If you're up in Silent Hill for the room, it's not the best Silent Hill, but there's that one room with like the giant face or whatever. It reminds me. Those one was just like she's a giant eyeball. I think I don't remember. It's freaky. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. All right, here we go. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Did I do that right? This is kind of where if you have late game builds, if you're gonna like farm a certain area for certain things, you spec into like these types of enemies, you know? A real goblin mine. Rebellion. Okay. Free stuff I see. They were going the right way. I've read about mines like this. I've seen when there's something else altogether. Ooh, almost jumped to my death. Hold on. We need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodbrok, to say the least. There we go. 
I have so many hills. It's actually insane. Oh, come on. I'll get us through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. No, oh, same as last time. But well, you can go left up here. Wait a minute. Revelio. What do they do? They're being watched by a door. That didn't do anything. All right, well. Yes, of course. Oh my goodness. Uh, does this close if I go back out? What does that even do? We're gonna get up there, but I wonder if we can like... I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. How do you- hold on, how do you get up there? There's gotta be a way, right? Let me check something out. So if I- does this open up? Can you run through here? Oh, you can. Never mind then. I think we gotta push this open. Probably like uh, that way. <laughs> All right, I did not want to not get this chest. So, oh, let's get it. Worth. Can hop down. Uh oh, no fall damage. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. A schematic? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Bring me that. But then you. I'll take balls. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Every time. Man, there's so much stuff to the walls. Let's go fight these enemies really quick. I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll see. Uh, they're all kind of facing each other. Someone's here. We good? Another potion? Oh, let's go ahead and search this. What? Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Man, we're getting a lot of loot. I'm all for it, too. That's another thing I love about this game a lot, is the RPG aspect of it. It's just kind of one of those games that's like... I think we'll hold up over time. When people make, like, if you ever make a Harry Potter type game, or a Hogwarts game, uh, it's gonna be, you gotta make it better than this, you know? It's like if you make a samurai game, it better be better than uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I missed something down there. I'm not gonna worry about it. Like, you kinda set the standard, essentially. Was there nothing else in here? Alright, we're out of here. Hold on, do I go this way? It doesn't say, okay. I'm gonna cut through here, because we haven't been down here yet. Revelio. Ooh. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? You don't fill up so much, you can actually go further. 
Eat a big meal, you'll be slowed down, but eat light and you'll be swift. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of enemies, right? <laughs> but who wants to be swift? Alright. I wasted that a little bit. Take his weapon and throw it back at him. That is so sick. You won't get away with that. Uh oh, hold on. That's <laughs> so sick. This really is too much. Stay close. I've handled much worse. But then other boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Got some stuff above me, including a major. Oh, hold on. Incendio. What does that do? Revenio. Oh, it takes us through here. Wait, is this like the way up? Because I don't want to miss it if, uh... This might be like a side section. But I don't think it is. Yeah, let me go back really quick. I think this is like the right way to go. And I'm getting like Batman Arkham stuff. Like, when you crawl Devil through like snare. the vents and everything. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Not to an entanglement we need right now. Collect everything I can. Does it not damage them at all? I don't think it does. All right. Yeah, I want to get this chest back up here. Wait, there's somebody next to me. That's kind of odd. It's like they saw me, but nothing happened. Oh, wait a minute. This is, uh, it's one of those. But this is also one. Oh, it does. This is all for a chest, I believe. I don't think there's anything else over here. I think I was going the right way a minute ago. Wait a minute. And it's worse. <laughs> oh, look at that. Tool shelf. Collection updated. Let's get it. Hey, can't thank you all enough for joining me each day I've been uploading this. I've been trying to remain consistent with the structure of the uploads as much as I can. I think I've been doing like 30 plus minute parts on a lot of stuff recently. I'm trying to stick to that. The reason I can do that now is because YouTube finally changed. I do everything in like 4K. <laughs> and it takes forever on YouTube to like process a video. Sometimes they wouldn't even process it like re-upload it the next day. I didn't know it's like the last minute, so it's just like a big hassle, but they Good fixed man. it to where it actually goes through a lot easier now. Oh, here we go. I did so much damage. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Why did he go to them? I have to wait now. 
That does damage to all of them, too. Level 23 enemy. Bring him over here so I can get the fire. I think my favorite spell of the entire game is the, uh, the slice of the I will have my revenge! Oh, hold on. Heal up. Slam! Slam! <laughs> I love it. We're not done yet, hold on. How many of them are there? That should be the last of them I'll meet. Is there anything up top? Let me double check. Hold on. Yeah, we got 20 potions. That's actually... That's actually wild. I don't know. <laughs> we got 21 now. I want the maxes. It's got to, like, increase over time, right? All right, same as last time. I want to... Oh, let's test something out really quick. If I'm right here and I go invis, does it actually still work? I'll be quiet. Okay, so you don't have to actually back off. Inset. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. Exit the mine. Is there like a quick way out of here? Or is it like... Let's go the way we came out? I don't know. Oh wait, let's uh, let's pull this and see. That usually opens up something. Maybe the elevator? Yeah, there we go. Alright, before we roll out, let me just check and make sure I didn't miss too much stuff. I'm gonna miss stuff occasionally, but there must be a quicker way out of here than retracing our steps. I think we got everything. There's a chest. It looks like around the corner, but that's back over there. Oh well. I'm not gonna worry about it. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Rebellion. A lot of moonstones. Hold on. Oh, let's go up here really quick. Level two lock. Oh man, I have to come back for that. Rebellion. Maxi, recording this. Why is it not? There we go. I'm recording this while my computer is like producing videos for. Uh, look, the lift. Rebellion site indeed. Hey, what? We just go out this way, right? Here we go. Yeah, so we actually just went the way we came out. Very nice. Or the way we uh, entered. There's only one way in and out, I guess. I'll speak with a minute really quick. Um, can we please talk? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. Now let's go talk to him really quick. What am I... Hold on. What is my XP at right now? I'm at 21 and like... Just over a third, I guess. So I probably won't get enough to do the next quest after this one. We'll see. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. 
I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Runrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch. And I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock. Transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Very awesome quest. I love anything dealing with him, because I feel like he just seems like such an interesting character, you know? All right, well, on that note, we'll take a little break here. I think my daughter just fell asleep. I'm not sure. I'm going to go make sure she's got, <laughs> got responsibilities now. Back when I was like 23, <laughs> starting this channel, I didn't have anything. I was living with my dad. <laughs> Anyways, love you all, best audience ever. Man, the snow, look at the snow effects and the hair and everything. On the scarf? That is awesome. But yeah, next time I think we got... Let's see the next quest. I think it's the one that's like a little higher. I'm gonna go farm my level a little bit. Man, we are cruising through this game. Not sure what level I'll be next time, but I'm gonna farm it a little bit. Kind of like I did these last few missions. I kind of had it kind of pre-ready for the video. So, anyways, love you all. And I'll catch you on the flip side. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> I was trying to like... Have it ready. All right, peace.